Hello Libra, we are here to do your you versus them love reading. So let's take a look in detail at what is happening in your love life. All right, Libra, look at this. We have a very interesting reading here because I have the Three of Swords twice. So that indicates that you could be in separation right now, but there is a lot of love here. A lot, a lot of love. So this is very interesting. We're going to go through this, uh, you know, two cards at a time. But the overarching energy for you is ghost lands, which also makes me feel as though you're not speaking presently. Not that you can't speak. Not that you're not available. I don't see any blockages here whatsoever in terms of phones or I don't really see anything terribly um, I see a difficult situation, but, but one with a lot of love in it. Into the unknown. So right now you are, have been thrust into the unknown. Look at this. Your final overall card for energy is coming together. Okay, so let's break this down. In the recent past, the three of discs, you've been in this mindset of collaboration. And when we look at this card, we see two parents and a baby. What could be more collaborative than raising children together? Now, the children can be of the heart, mind, you know, body, uh, but it really is a card of three people together. So there may be a child involved. But this is really more so about working together to to accomplish a cherished goal, which is in this instance, raising a child, but it could be any goal, but it really shows that the two of you are on the same page in terms of what you want, what you desire, what your goals are. Um, and this is energy that is coming from you more than your significant other. Now your significant other is coming in as a king of cups, which is Scorpio energy, it's a Scorpio king. And this is a person who doesn't talk about their emotions, this is a person who is very calm, who has mastered their emotions. They're usually, they're a very deep person who loves, who's a favorite uncle, a favorite brother. This is a person that everyone tells their secrets, shares their secrets with, is a king of cups. So this person really loves you very deeply. They don't speak about it. Uh, that's what the King of Cups does. The King of Cups will show you that they love you. They don't often tell you that they love you. All right, so the current energy here is a Six of Cups. You feel that this is very much a soulmate energy. Look at this beautiful, beautiful angel, but very steeped in water. You know, this is Cancerian energy. According to this, it's also Scorpio energy. But we see an angel who's beautifully submerged in the water with only the critical parts of the Cancer's crab outside of the water. You're very emotional right now, Libra. You're very much in your feels. And look at this, the lover's card. The lover's card is how your person feels. Your person feels as though you are their soulmate. Look at the little Cupid's arrow that's tattooed on the top of her arm. They're very different people, but around them, around, your lover really feels so passionate for you. This lover wants to look into your eyes and kiss you and make love and really connect with you emotionally, spiritually, as well as physically. When we look at how you see, how you view the situation, your view is that there's a third party situation or there's something in the way of the two of you being together. That could be distance. It could be if somebody lives in another country. It could be someone taking care of a parent and so they can't have a normal relationship. It could mean traditionally that someone's married to another person. So it can mean all of those things. But right now you're feeling heartbreak. That's the emotion. You feel really, really heartbroken about the situation. How you view it is heartbreaking. But your person's very calm, cool, and collected with this Aquarius energy. What we see is somebody who feels very confident, like this is a natural part, a natural situation the way it is. 
it's sort of I accept this Libra because right now we have to accept the the separation or the not being able to be with one another in the way that we would choose to and when we look at ghost lands that confirms the the fact that it looks for most of you as though you are in separation though certainly both still in love with each other so when we look at how you view each other the Eight of Discs, you see this is a person that you want to work through life with. There's a beautiful little lamb here. There's this beautiful passion. There's a beautiful down-to-earth, natural sensitivity, nativity with each other. You feel so at home with each other. You just, you know a lot about each other, but you're anxious and eager to learn more. Look at what your person is how how they view you is the person who's holding their heart the person whom they love the person with whom they have this magical magical little it almost i don't even know what to call that it's almost like a little heavenly stairway to heaven to the heart you know it's like a little miniature feeling that's it's like but it's magical it's like the swirl of magic the magic of loving you. That's how they view you. Now, how the two of you feel in your heart space is very unusual. You're both in this nine space. So you feel as though, Libra, that being a single person is comfortable for you or being with you know being alone you have some sort of acceptance of it because a nine of discs is usually a very attractive person who's very comfortable who's very successful so this separation that the two of you in leaves you in a situation uh, in your heart space of feeling grounded but not necessarily as happy. The same is true of your partner. They feel they feel as though they need to defend their turf. They feel as though they're looking with this lant, lantern or um, into the future and they're kind of looking at you if you look at this. They're looking, they're watching you like, how is Libra doing? I hope they're okay. I can't come to Libra's side right now. Libra must remain single right now because I can't be with Libra. So that, but it does show that both of you are very much with the number nine, you're not going anywhere. The number nine is ready to become a full, full fruition in love. Now look at this card. Now we have the way you view the situation moving forward is you're going to be with your lover. Now this is your this is how you feel in this position. This is how your person feel felt in in this section of the reading. Two lovers cards. You are mirroring each other and look at once again how different we see this difference, the difference in these two people, the difference in these two unicorns. And part of the mythology with this deck is that these two unicorns would, they're willing to fight to the death to be with each other. And that is the Two of Cups energy. So even though it looks like the lover's card, it is the bride and groom energy. It is a bride and groom taking their vows early on in the relationship. The Eight of Wands is how they see the situation moving forward. So you feel as though you view the situation or the way it will move forward is that you will make a significant commitment with this person. Your person feels the same way, Eight of Wands moving forward very swiftly uh, at the time that there are no further obstacles. The energy that is hidden between the two of you, Libra, is you want an absolutely new beginning, throw caution to the winds, let's just do this thing, let's have fun, let's transform with the butterflies, this separation into something beautiful, magnificent, a new adventure. Your person wants to make love with you. They want a new, passionate beginning. They want to come in and they want to start with you with a great deal of fire a lot of heat, a lot of energy, a lot of excitement. Both of you, this is Aquarius energy, 
and it it really speaks to the fact that you just want liberation you want the freedom to be with your person your person wants the freedom to be with you but in a very passionate way spirit is saying and look at we have the king of cups twice again scorpio sun moon rising or venus so spirit is reaffirming that the king of cups is absolutely heartbroken um, over not being able to spend time with you thus mirroring this is your three of hearts or three of swords this is their three of swords and so this is their feelings of not telling you everything and expressing all of their love and what spirit is saying is try to be very calm be the king of cups energy be calm with your understanding and knowing it's only a matter of time before the two of you are together now, when we look at the reading and the outcome of this reading, Libra, the outcome of the reading from your viewpoint is definitely the Hierophant card. Uh, this is an energy that is one of also caretaking. There may be children involved that you would need to nurture, either yours or theirs, in the relationship. And they are invested. They are, they feel as though, yes, we will probably marry, but let's take it a day at a time, a step at a time. Very much this energy of into the unknown. So they're a little bit more conservative than you are, but they are invested. This person is nurturing this plant. This person is looking forward to the time that the two of you will come together. So the energy here is a divine energy with all of this lovers, soulmates, six of cups, you know, all of this energy is beautiful energy. Let's take a look and see what these cards of separation are because neither of you want that. So let's see what's going on here with the messages of love from the oracles oracle cards what is keeping what is causing a division right now what is causing a division in libra's relationship soulmate your soulmate loves accepts and respects you unconditionally all right so you're in separation of soulmates put away the computer that fell out it doesn't even resonate okay let me go ahead and shuffle ah <laughs> i make a mess oh my goodness there's something about your person right now that is rejecting the situation and this rejection is actually divine protection and it feels very cold to you because the knight the king of swords tends to feel very cold so what i'm getting is that at this point in time um your soulmate may not really recognize you as much as they will in the coming weeks. They do know that they love you. Okay, so what about this? Why is a rejection here? Why is there this separation? Why is a separation Libra going on? Everything happens for a reason. Okay, so this is about divine timing. You know, that at this time you're not meant to be together for specific reasons but that you know again just accept it you know spirit is saying that you are going to be together now why do we have the three of swords here because this is actually the recommendation of spirit is you know the universe is telling you accept with peace peacefulness be peacefulness and loving in your acceptance of your celebration of this i mean as your your separation celebration celebrations here separations here okay Let's see, what do we have here? You are protected. Oh, that is so interesting. Okay, so now I want to, those are the only really, those are the only negative cards. So I really want to look and see what's going on here. What is it that is making this rejection protection? Ace of Cups sideways. Your love is still developing. The Ace of Cups sideways says that it's not ready to be upright yet, that it's developing. 
Okay. The em let's see, yes, the Emperor card. So, okay, so it does look like your lover Libra is in a situation where they're not seeing things your way. So I feel very much that your person, one of you are married, both of you are married. There is a connection to another person. And right now, your lover is very doubled down on the idea that they cannot make an investment at this time. Seven of coins reversed, okay. So let's see, Let's. I wanna look at a different deck. Let's look at the shadow deck. This is the El Goliath shadow deck, and it usually speaks to that which cannot be seen in the regular decks. What is the shadow energy here in this Three of Swords? Tell us something about why Libra is in separation and why it will work out long term. Nine of Swords, it's not the time. Somebody looks as though they're going through a terrible battle in their life. Oh, beautiful. Okay. It looks as though right now, for those with whom it resonates, that somehow in your separation, in this person's relationship with another, there is a gigantic battle. It is a five of swords. There's something very unfair that your person is going through. It is keeping them awake at night. It is making them feel stranded. Um, I feel as though there is a child at play here. There's maybe a custody battle for some of you. And right now, rejection is protection. When we look at this Hierophant card, that's actually an unhealthy version. It's be like being codependent in a marriage. And so I see this as a protection. So your person understands that they don't want to bring you into the muck and mire that they're going through right now. They're using good judgment and they miss you so much. You can see the bear roaring at the top of their lungs. The, the rays of sunshine are coming down and this bear wants to get out of the freezing water. They want a new beginning with you. So that's what I have, Libra. Sending you love from Chicago since I'm back and tell me where you're from, thank you.